Yo, what's going on guys? I was just gonna make a quick little video on how to get SSR pendants free to play and I'm also going to show a fairly whale perspective if you have no other way, like if you've done all the grinding, all that, but I'm gonna start with the free to play stuff first because I feel as though that will help most people in this game. All right, so actually no, that's kind of a whale version. I was gonna show you the, uh, that, but um, obviously you can get some from the spin events. Uh, uh, every few stages you get uh, these on the uh, reset or whatever, every like stage, it looks like you can get up to three. And I think there are some in the wheel. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Cause I already can't remember. I've already done about half of it, but there is at least three guaranteed just from finishing the overall wheel. And you get those from farming the book stage and training cave and main stage which i assume most of you can't do training cave every day obviously and most of you have probably already done main stage so there's that and then obviously there's purinpu which uh if you go all the way down oh, there, there they are you get uh five of them so make sure you do uh one a day because you can only get uh one per day which i wish they wouldn't limit it but whatever five more SR pendants every day. And also guys, the reason I'm doing this is because I've seen so many people say, oh, I just don't have enough pendants. I don't have this, but there are a lot of pendants to get right now, to be honest. Um, I believe there is some in here too. I can't tell, uh, this is a pendant right here. So that's one, I guess, woo, one pendant. Uh, and then there's another one for next week. So I guess there's two pendants right there. Uh, okay, that's just Belmos. Okay, whatever. Um, let me see, is there the township or town thing? There is not. So it looks like we missed it. There was one like last week, I believe, but whatever. Um, And then this, does this have any? I already can't remember. It doesn't, that's actually kind of sad. All right, so I'll be cutting to the next area because I believe I have to, you know, uh, fast travel. It'll, it'll be in the knighthood. I'll be right back in just a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we're in our knighthood. You just head on over to the shop and then every single day, make sure you do your login and all that, you know, get that gem for your knighthood. Uh, and then over time, you can get these coins, especially if you donate your uh, wings and stuff. I know it's kind of whaley, I guess. I mean, it's free to play. Like you just have to play a little bit uh, and then you're able to get pendants. And I'm getting, I prefer getting the pendants over the SA coins because SA coins just aren't worth. Yes, I know I did buy them, but I just don't think it's worth more than pendants because, you know, maxing out a unit that way is more beneficial in my opinion. And plus, three SA coins can only get you a one star, which is honestly horrible in my opinion. And I'm just going to go ahead and sell this since I'm here. Yada, yada, yada. Eight million gold. Awesome. All right. And then another way to get some pendants is right over here at the... Uh, boss you get six thousand points and i believe you can get three pendants okay so there is a uh, one two three yep so three ssr pendants right there i should be counting this but i am not but whatever so that is six pendants there i believe you can get about 900 coins a week because you get about two to four hundred for that uh, and then i'll just show you what i mean by contributing by the way uh, all you do is you just go here you just oh you can donate to 100 now okay well i'm gonna donate these because i don't really need these and then you get 100 coins so yeah if you have a lot of pendant or not of a material i would highly suggest doing that and then i'll cut uh, actually i don't think i need to cut i don't think i need to yeah it's literally just right here okay um so then you go here uh, and then you can farm more pendants. Okay, that's as high pendants, which I mean, that could help people, but uh, you get one extra pendant from this. Uh, you get the guaranteed right here. You get three right here of the SR, and then you get 10 uh, rare pendants from this. So, you know, that could help you guys out. And then does this give you a pendant? It does not. That's kind of that's kind of big lame. Uh, and then obviously you guys have this, which it, this is going to involve the whale version later on in the video. Uh, but yeah, there's that. And then I'm going to cut and try to find another one real quick. Uh, I'll be right back in just a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And if you did the pay to play version, then you probably already know, but you can get one. Uh, two, two, is there two? I already can't remember. I just went through this as well. You get one. Is there actually only one? There's actually only one on that side, even the paid version. So if you pay, you can get two in total because there is one free to play SR pendant right here. Uh, so there is a, another one. Um, so you can get quite a few SSR pendants uh, just by doing all your daily stuff and whatnot. I don't believe there's any from this, right? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. They should add in a daily SSR pendant just for doing that. Uh, and then if you do this, guys, this is another quick little thing. Uh, this is completely free to play. 
Um, it might take one or two days though, unless you play quite a bit and join a bunch of demons with friends. Um, and you also have to ma have max friends. That definitely helps. If you go to this, go to friend list. Uh, and if you send this, you get about eight to 900 usually of those friend coins. I don't care, Greg, go away. Oh my God, Greg, stop it. <laughs> uh, you go to shop. Go down here, you would claim it as well, by the way. So you just go here, bada bing, yay, I have coins. And then you go here, and then you just buy one of these, and then you have a chance to get a pendant. It is a pretty low chance, but after every 10 drops, uh, you get a guaranteed one. So I would highly suggest doing that. And then there is the good old boss shop. Uh, how many can you get from here? Let's see. And of course, you actually can't get pendants from here. Okay, I was wrong. But I'm um, just gonna top this real quick before I forget. All right, so I guess you can't get any from here, but I know you can get some from the uh, final boss. Let's go here. And then the guaranteed uh, score rewards. Uh, there is one pendant as well as there. There's also some essay coins, diamonds. Might as well do it. Uh, oh my goodness, go away. Uh, and then if you go to rankings, uh, reward, you can get three at top 10%. And then, ooh, it's only top 10. That is actually kind of annoying. I might push for top 10% because I want more of uh, those. They made it 10 as well. I saw it was only five before. Oh, I'm grinding top 10%. I didn't realize that. But yeah, you. there is quite a few ways to get um, a lot of SSR pendants in this game, especially because this is only out for two weeks. And then in two more weeks, or once this update goes away and uh, Arthur supposedly drops, he's technically not confirmed, but I assume he will be. Uh, then there'll be even more SSR pendants. So there are quite a few SSR pendants in order to get your units to level 90 or level 80 if you don't even have them that high. Uh, that is just a quick little way. As you can see, I have grinded quite a few uh, SSR pendants. I don't really, I don't buy any from the shop like straight out, you know, like buy those stupid packs. It's like, here's three SSR pendants for $6. Like, no, I don't do that. I just slowly have been grinding over time, playing every day and just upgrading my box. As you can see, it's a, a pretty impressive box if you ask me. But now we're going to go into the whale tactic. This is probably my favorite way ever because it's really, really satisfying to do this. Um, what you do, you go here and I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna be summoning on uh, Arthur and Bond and all that. So I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna do this. So what I did, I came here. Th th this is not for free to play. Do not do this if you are free to play. You need to save your silver coins for grinding. Otherwise, this is a complete waste. But what I did, I would just hit max and I just did that. Not not 100%, like I, I would, okay, let's uh, exit out. I don't wanna actually change all those because then I'll be shafted for like another week. So what I would do, I would just do this. Make it like 200, boom. And I would just trade all those up. And then I would get 20, I would exchange all those. And then you just go here. You go to the special dungeon. Uh, you go right in here. Do I even have any? Uh, I don't have any coins. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just do, I'll do one real quick, just to show you. And then you get three per thing, but oom. And then make sure you have green Gothers uh, costume. That way you get the max amount of anvils and you get uh, SR and rare pendants from this as well. And as you see, I got two pendants. This is the guaranteed one, by the way. So make sure to remember that. If it's always the last one and it shows this, it will pop up right here. I kind of hate that, but whatever. And so that is how I get all my SSR pendants. And also I just showed you how I got all my rare pendants. Uh, how many rare pendants am I at? I guess I could have just checked on that screen, but whatever. Um, I am at 1600 rare pendants. So as you can see, this is a pretty good way on how to farm rare pendants and whatnot. And then I believe, oh, it's not even here. Okay, uh, there usually is an exchange event here, but I guess I got rid of it. Maybe it'll come back for the next fest unit. But yeah, uh, there's usually an exchange event here, but whatever, there was one last month, so it doesn't really matter. And so yeah, hopefully this tip helped you out. And this is just a better way to get level 90 units, in my opinion, in order to and get enough like pendants to, you know, make it easier, I guess, in a way. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's all it is for me today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys come out to the stream in about an hour-ish when this video drops. Actually, probably less than an hour, like maybe 45 minutes because I still have to make the thumbnail. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys have an amazing day and come out to the stream. We're doing Belmoth Demons. I'm going to try to clear as many as I can for about two to three hours. 
And yeah, hope you guys have an amazing day and peace out.